Hello, this is Clayton Balmas here, your teacher with Synmax University in our video classroom. Today, we're going to talk about Burplo Magic, available at burplomagic.com. The presentation we have today for you is going to be about the grease and the maintenance of the ball spline. This has been very, this has been an Achilles heel of the ball spline unit for a long time because people didn't have the ability to grease the balls within the ball spline. They simply burned up and they got replaced. We worked very closely with the engineering staff of the Burt Transmissions to be able to make a successful application and the highest quality aerospace level product to be put into it. So here we go. Uh, we have a presentation that you can be, you can be able to download at BurtBlueMagic.com to see maybe a couple of the things we might not have gone over in our discussion. I say, Clayton, is this officially from Burt Transmissions? Well, you can see in the picture, there's Burt himself. And on the internet, you'll see a letter signed by Burt endorsing and authenticating the Burt Blue Magic products as the upgrade for the Burt Transmissions. <laughs> um, we have to have maintenance of the ball spline and the balls. We have to grease them. Okay? Now, there is a new style that's out there that has some grease fittings, okay, which have been very, very good. Um, but the key here is the quality of grease that you're going to use. And uh, we're going to get into performance of the grease and the balls in our next presentation. So, uh, really quick, there's a new style available out there that has some ends on it. But for the other 15,000 people out there that don't have that, we have to work with the tools of what we have. And as I said, Bert himself is working with the Burt Blue Magic product with the grease and the fluids. Now here we go. Uh, the tools that we require is, is uh, we designed a, a grease gun assembly, as you can see, with a special rubber-tipped end, and then you can either use your Allen wrench tool, or maybe a quarter inch ratchet with the right size end on it. Step one is the removal of the screw, as we can see in here, from the ball spline. And we have a close up here in the presentation with the ball spline. Step two is you have to remove a second screw. Why? So when the grease comes in and it fills, it's able to come out. Uh, Again, we have to be able to get into here, as we show in the presentation, to grease very well. What the end of this does is it seals in, so no matter what angle that you're at, it seals in. So like, Clayton, I can use any kind of grease on that. We'll get into that in a minute. So we can show the different angles that the grease gun is able to work with the ball spline. Again, with it being handy, you're able to do that. As we said, we can have multiple angles. So wherever you're at on the car, whether you're able to do straight or over, the advantage that we have is this special designed rubber tip that's able to seal and have a seal to hold and get the grease in. Then you replace the screws in on how they're able to go. And you replace the second screw and then everything is done. So, long story short, we created a product here for the Burt Blue Magic with an aerospace calcium sulfonate complex, high RPM, very specific design grease for the ball spline application. We want to keep these balls that are within this unit happy. The reason is you have to have a special grease is so when the grease works back and forth with the balls that they will stay within it. So uh, we're going to have the, the next presentation is going to be how the grease works with the metal in the entire assembly. So this is Clayton Balmas with uh, Synmax University on behalf of Burt Blue Magic and we wanted to thank you for being with us and we'll see you at the next session. Bye now.